Hello and welcome to today's screencast. My name is Ivor Addo. Uh, my co-project developer is Tanine. And our research advisor is Dr. Iqbal. Um, we're all uh, part of the UBCOM Research Lab at Marquette University. Um, in this screencast, we'll take a look at an iOS app that we built uh, that consumes the survey um, response uh, survey data created using a survey engine that we described in the previous uh, screencast. The target application for this is uh, M Health intervention study for smoking cessation. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, to, to use this application, you would have typically installed an, an iOS app um, for, for the survey. You know, assuming you've launched the app, uh, your screen would look something like this. Uh, you've got the American Indian M Health Smoking uh, Dependence Study, and this is just one instance of the, uh, of the app. So it, it, we're running here in an iOS simulator um, here, so uh, it's not really an iPad here, but this is uh, close enough uh, to be able to capture the screencast. All right, so uh, we're going to need to log in. Um, so this login would have been previously created uh, using the web interface that we described in the previous screencast. So the administrator or somebody who's been marked as an administrator would be uh, keying in the username and password. Uh, once that's in there, you'd be able to navigate to the next screen. The next screen allows you to select the group that uh, you're targeting for this specific survey. Uh, and then, of course, you'd select a, a visit. And, of course, we've got um, about 10 different visits uh, and, and group combinations uh, that uh, would be used to, for selecting the best survey uh, for a given participant or, or group of participants. Uh, so let's assuming we've selected a group and a visit, visit one and group MMMM, uh, we can proceed to the next screen. The next screen allows you to select uh, your target date uh, for starting the survey. So uh, default is going to be uh, today's date, and so we can go ahead and select that. I believe that's selected and click next. Uh, then we'll be able to select the start time. So I could select the time in the future or in the past or today's date um, or today's time sorry the current time so i'm going to assume the current time is okay and uh, i would click next on comes the participant id uh, page where i would be able to specify a participant id previously created using the web admin interface that we uh, demonstrated uh, in the previous screencast uh, so key that in hit next um, I'll get an option uh, to select eligibility um, for the survey. And uh, normally, if I uh, don't select anything, um, I'm going to get a warning of some sort describing the fact that I need to select uh, all applicable options uh, to be eligible for the survey. Continue uh, to the next screen. Uh, so assuming I go back and select that, the next screen that I see would be a study overview. Um, study overview has some standard verbiage um, here uh, to, to help the nurse uh, who's administering the survey. I uh, click on next, you'd be able to see uh, some of the barriers uh, listed here. Um, and then some content uh, for motivation. Um, Next screen would allow the, the user to confirm uh, consent. So the goal is, uh, do you consent? And uh, the participant would be uh, answering yes or no. Assuming they answer yes, which would be the goal, uh, they'll be able to set an appointment, uh, a future appointment with uh, a tobacco cessation program, um, our tobacco cessation program. Um, for you know, continuing with uh, this uh, study. Uh, 
next screen allows them to select uh, a specific AI story that might be relevant uh, for this participant. Um, and, and notice uh, right now we haven't populated this with uh, any verbiage yet, but uh, it would be uh, in the future. Um, next screen, they get to actually um, uh, provide a response to the baseline survey. So supposing uh, visit one is labeled baseline survey, uh, this is what the screen will look like. They hit start. Uh, they'll be able to see some sectional information, which just uh, describes uh, what, what kind of data we're collecting here. So uh, in this uh, section, we're collecting demographic information. Uh, they'll be able to uh, answer uh, questions that uh, require uh, multiple choice. Uh, gender is another sample question. And once that's completed, they would click, um, you know, confirm that it, it, the survey is completely hit next. Um, and then it takes them to a screen where um, the nurse could input the reading for carbon dioxide uh, done manually. Um, the app doesn't do this, but uh, uh, maybe a, a potential future research work. Um, and then it will click next, which should take them to a screen where they could select uh, the quit date. Uh, so the quit date has a little bit of validation here. If you attempted to uh, move on and you selected a date uh, that's in the past, um, the goal is that uh, you'd be able, you know, you, the, the uh, application would prompt you uh, and guide you to select a date in the future or, or today's date at the worst case. Um, and then, of course, the participant would be able to set their M Health preferences for how they, they would like to get text messages um, down down the road. And of course, the nurse would be able to set up uh, an end time uh, for this survey, and then uh, click next or uh, to confirm, and you'd see a, a confirmation screen showing thanks for completing the survey. Um, they would at that at this point be able to um, save, um, so they'd be able to save the screen and be and be able to get back to this um, to make further edits at, at a different point in time, or they can go ahead and click on submit, um, and submit should uh, take them um, off of the screen. And what that would do is it would check for an internet connection at that point in time. If there's an internet connection available, it would submit the survey response directly to the server. If uh, there's no internet connection, it would save it locally. And the next time uh, this user logs in, uh, you'll check for internet connection. If there is an internet connection, it would um, transmit the previously saved responses uh, to the server. Uh, this completes our screencast for today. And uh, if you have any questions, once again, uh, feel free to reach us, reach out to us. I will be happy to uh, discuss this even further. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.